Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we're just picking up where we left off on the last video. So we're setting up some of the stuff for our Amazon FBA account. And as soon as we save the settings from the last video, it opens this up right here. Set your fulfillment by Amazon label preferences. This screen is going to give you some more details about shipping your items over to Amazon. It's gonna tell you the requirements in your area about the UPC codes and all that info. So I would highly recommend that you just go through this and read it, it's gonna help you out a lot. Now at the bottom of this screen, it's uh, got an option, it's telling you about the FBA label service and the sticker list thing. You know, feel free to read this and see if it applies to what you're doing. And uh, just click the box that applies, uh, you know, and then just go ahead and click to the next step. Let's review selections and let's move on. All right, so now we're going to do is then go ahead and click on confirm selections. All right, so this is real simple. All what this screen is asking us is, do I want to sell Garcinia Cambogia through the Amazon you know, FBA? Yes, we do. And uh, that, that's it. That's all they're basically saying is, is that then they're going to wait for us to send them our inventory, the uh, bottles of the Garcinia Cambogia. And as soon as they get those, then they're going to turn the listing on. So that way, uh, you, you know, people can buy it. So let's go ahead and click the convert and send inventory. And it's telling us that we will be automatically redirected. And now we're seeing this screen right here. All right, so let me explain this window right here. So let's say Private Label Nutra just made, uh, you know, just made 50 bottles of the Garcinia Cambogia for us. Now we want to get those bottles shipped over to Amazon's warehouse, the Amazon FBA warehouse. That way we can get our items listed on Amazon and get Amazon handling the shipments and all that stuff, right? So we want to get our uh, our supplements from Private Label Nutra's warehouse over to Amazon FBA's warehouse. Make sense? Yes. So Amazon is going to handle the shipping uh, and uh, receiving of the product, right? So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to put the manufacturer, uh, the people who are making the product, we're going to want to put that in here. So in our case, we would want to put down Private Label Nutra's address here. So, you know, when you're talking to private label Nutra, they're going to give you their uh, shipping info and the location of their warehouse. And you would want to put the address for private label Nutra right here. And you give this to them before they send out your shipment. Uh, you know, this is how th that shipment goes from the manufacturer to Amazon. This is the address you want to ship to. Unless, of course, you've got the package. Let's say you got the stuff sent to your house then you would put your address here. Anyway, all that to say, you got basically what you do here is you put the address of your manufacturer or yeah, wherever I'm getting my supplements made. So Private Label Nutra, I would talk to them, I get their info, I put this down here, and this is gonna give me that packaging label, the shipping label that they need in order to send out the inventory to Amazon, all right? So go ahead and fill out this information and then uh, click the yellow button that says ship from this address. All right, so then you're going to see a screen that looks like this, right? Now, right at the top here, it says packing type. So how are they going to send it to Amazon? Are they going to send a big box that's got, you know, 25 bottles in it? Are they going to send two big boxes that each have 25 bottles in there? Are they going to send four boxes that have... 10 different bottles in it. So uh, if that's the case, which it's going to be, they're not just gonna send one box with one bottle in it, right? So that's why we're gonna wanna change this to case packed. There's gonna be more than one in each package, right? So uh, let's click on change to case packed. There we go. So that way they know that they're gonna get one box that's got multiple bottles inside of it. Now, down here, they're gonna t you could basically tell them how many bottles are in each case and how many number of cases you're gonna send them. You see this? So what I'm gonna do here is let's say if we're doing, uh, there's 25 bottles in a case 
and say that I'm gonna send them two cases, so a total of 50 different bottles. So there you see total units, 50. So the other thing they want to know here is they want to know the dimensions, right? So how big are is the box? How big is each box that you're sending? And what are the dimensions here? They need to know this to figure out the shipping info. So again, you're gonna be able, you're gonna get this from the manufacturer. So you know when they after they make the product and when you want to get them to ship it out to Amazon, you just ask them, hey, what's the weight and height of the package? And they're gonna send you an email with that info, and then you just plug that in right here. I'm gonna use this as an example: 12 by 10 by 8. And then let's go ahead and do save. And that's like height, width, and depth. And then what we're gonna do is uh, you can always double check here to see where it says information required. So you can click this just to make sure that there's not anything you neglected that you forgot about. And then just click the continue button. So next they're asking you about the prep information here. They're saying that the prep is required. So what I'd encourage you to do is view the prep help right here and click the Amazon preferred product prep just to make sure that your product meets their uh, regulations. Uh, you know, if you click on this, they're going to tell you about the bubble wrap that, that needs to be sent with like breakable items and, and uh, all that kind of stuff. But in our case, let's just go ahead and click on continue. All right, so the next step here is for labeling the products. So it's just a, it, this is a section where we can get a label from Amazon and they just want to know if we need help labeling it. So scroll down. And right here you see the Garcinia Cambogia Pure Extract. This is gonna be our own Garcinia Cambogia. Now if we want Amazon to slap the labels onto the back of each bottle for us, well we can do that, but the thing is is that they're gonna charge us a little extra for that. Like they might charge you, you know, anywhere between 10, 15, 30 cents or so uh, per bottle. So, you know, it, and it does add up. It's not really a big deal, but it does add up. So if you want, but if you wanna just keep it simple, Go to Who Labels and go to Amazon and get them to label the stuff for you and carry on your merry way. Otherwise, you see where it says merchant here. Uh, what you do, what you could do is they've got these barcodes that uh, you can go to where it says print labels for this page and you can basically click that and that's going to download a PDF. So let me open it. And you know, if you got the bottles in your house right now, then you would print out the labels and you could slap it on the back of each bottle. Otherwise, you can just send this over to your manufacturer. Send this over to Private Label Nutra. Say, hey, here's the barcode that Amazon gave us. They wanted us to put this on the back too. So there you go. So do you see how it gave us a total of it gave us a total of 50 different barcodes since I told them that I was gonna send them 50 different products right? So what I would do is I would print that out or I mean save this file then I would just email it to private label Nutra and then let's go ahead and go to continue. Now it's asking us to uh, review our shipment to make sure everything looks good and everything checks out. You can also give your shipment a name down here that way it's easy for you to see what it is and uh, you know just check it back over and uh, then what you can do is go to where it says approve shipments. So there you have it, it's really that simple. Now Amazon is going to be rating, uh, and waiting and expecting our shipment. So we just send those labels, those packaging labels over to private label Nutra. They're gonna send it out to Amazon and Amazon will let us know as soon as they receive it. And then they'll have our items and we'll be good to go live with the, you know, with our products. So that about wraps up this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.